really don't want this to happen to you if you're a fly. But how do you prevent it? How do you write yourself after a puff of wind? Flies don't need an answer, they just do it. But scientists want to know how such a tiny creature with such a tiny brain can maneuver so well. So here's what some of them did at Cornell to try to figure it out. First, they glued magnets to the backs of flies. Then they used a magnetic pulse for just a few milliseconds to pull them one way or another. Three cameras recorded what happened at 8,000 frames per second, and the researchers then analyzed and reconstructed the behavior. In order to stay in the air, the flies had to sense the change, exactly what it was, how fast, and in what direction, and then they had to react immediately. They do this with organs called halteres, like biological gyroscopes, which communicate directly with a group of neurons near the wings. When the system is working, that cluster of neurons has to do the fly equivalent of calculus, figuring out speed, distance, changes in direction, and then how to respond. When the system isn't working, for instance, if the scientists disable the halt ears, not so good for the flies. That's when they fall out of the sky.